Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is, but we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Folks, we have been discussing for weeks now what is coming a lot sooner than people realize. The age of cash is coming to a rapid close. The age of a digital currency, a one world digital currency, is rapidly approaching. In fact, like I've stated before, over 90% of independent countries right now are currently doing pilot programs or have just finished pilot programs for CBDCs, central bank digital currencies, and 11 countries have already dumped their previous form of currency and are currently using a CBDC, central bank digital currency, as their main form of currency. Now, why is this push to implement CBDCs worldwide significant in regards to end times Bible prophecy? Well, we know according to scripture, specifically Revelation chapter 13, during the coming tribulation period, which we are not in yet, the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ will occur before the Antichrist is revealed and before the tribulation period begins. However, during the coming tribulation period, the coming empire of the Antichrist, there will be a system in place that will be able to track everyone. It will be able to control all buying and selling. If you don't comply with the system, you will be considered an enemy and you won't be able to go about your everyday life because you have not been connected to this system. They need to join everyone to this system eventually. So this current system that's going on right now, it must collapse in order for them to bring about this new system, this coming beast system. When this system does collapse, they will roll out the CBDCs, the central bank digital currencies for each country individually, and they will give incentives for you to join this program. Who knows what, will they, what they will offer you to get you to join. And then eventually, they will merge all of this into one, a one world digital currency. And they're telling you it's coming, folks, and it is coming fast. I mean, it's right in your face. This is just in from Wall Street Journal. Central bank digital currencies are coming, whether countries are ready or not. So they're telling you it's coming, and it's coming fast like a full-speed train. Why do you think all these countries are piloting CBDCs right now? And many of them, like I said, have already implemented CBDCs as their main form of currency. And then many of you had just sent me this just in from Breitbart. Project Cedar inside the plot to destroy the U.S. dollar. Let me read some of this to you folks. On November 15th, 2012, several of the world's biggest banks agreed to a shocking new plan, one that could lead to a complete overthrow of the U.S. dollar as we know it. Sponsored by the New York Federal Reserve, participants in this plan, including banking giants like Wells Fargo, Citigroup, HSBC, and MasterCard, just to name a few, the pilot program, which they actually, this is what they called it, Project Cedar, would convert regular U.S. dollars into a brand new type of dollar, which could have massive implications for all American citizens. But Project Cedar is just the second step in a complete overhaul of the U.S. banking system. The first step was announced on March 9th, 2022, when Bre President Biden signed Executive Order 14067. Did you guys know about this? On March 4th, uh, 2000, March 9th, 2022, President Biden signed Executive Order 14067. This executive order gave legal provisions for this new U.S. dollar and could give the U.S. government unprecedented control over your money and your freedom. In fact, listen to this, it could even pave the way for things like legal government surveillance of all U.S. citizens, total control over your bank accounts and purchases, 
and the ability to silence all dissenting voices for good. So if you misbehave, they can control your money. I've been warning about this for months, says renowned uh, macroeconomist Jim Rickards. Now with the launch of Project Cedar, the wheels are fully in motion and I don't believe anything can stop it. Mr. Rickards is one of the world's foremost financial experts and has, has been a respected advisor to the CIA, the Pentagon, and multiple U.S. presidents. The way he sees it, this is the start of a sinister new plot against everyday Americans. We're in for a major upheaval of the U.S. dollar, he says. In fact, I predict the third great dollar earthquake has already started. The first was Roosevelt confiscating private gold in 1934. The second was Nixon abandoning the gold standard in 1971. Now, he says, this plan could pave the way for retiring the U.S. dollar and replacing it with a disturbing new alternative. I mean, folks, you can't make this stuff up. This is right in your face. Again, connect the dots. Why do you think that over 90% of independent countries right now are currently running pilot programs for these CBDCs, central bank digital currencies, and 11 have already implemented CBDCs um, as their main form of currency because they know that this current system is ready to collapse. It's coming and it's coming fast like a full speed train. And when it collapses, make no mistake about it, they're gonna be able to bring forth the CD, CBDCs, central bank digital currencies, because you need the age of cash to come to a close because you need to be able to join everybody to this system. You, be, you have to be able to track everybody. You have to be able to control all buying and selling, just like uh, what it says is coming according to the pages of end times Bible prophecy during this coming B system. When this system comes crashing down, they're going to bring forth these CBDCs. Like I said at first, that's why they're doing all these pilot programs with all these countries. Because the individual countries, like the United States, for example, I believe we're just finishing uh, the 12-week pilot that they're doing with all the major U.S. banks right now. I think that's coming to a close in the next couple weeks. When the time comes and this system collapses, they'll be able to bring forth the CBDCs for the individual countries first. And when the time comes in the future, during the coming B system, they're going to be able to join everybody together. They're going to merge this, all the countries' CBDCs, into one, a one-world digital currency. It's coming, folks, and it's coming fast. This can't be stopped. Now, God's in control of the timing of all things, but we see them getting ready to roll out these, these uh, CBDCs in the very near future. Some are even saying they're going to start rolling them out this year in 2023. We'll see. But all I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. So what do you have to do to be saved? Well, the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. And he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, 
the sin debt that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith in your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.